Welcome back everybody to the second episode of The Wild Criminologist. As you may have guessed from the sports ground behind me and the title of the video, this episode is on how community sports can help us reduce crime in the neighbourhood. First up, <coughs> just to let you know, I'll list all of the references that I used for making this video just below in the comments. So if you'd like to check out any of the sources, feel free to click on the links. So what does the research actually say about sport as a preventative measure? Well, that's where it's not so straightforward. Uh, there's mixed results with some research suggesting that it does well to help youths prevent going along the criminal path, and there's other research to say that it doesn't have as much of an effect. However, a lot of these studies differ in their focus and how they actually measure a good result, so we'll have to break it down. The research seems to suggest that physical activity is not actually an important factor, however it serves as a hook to get youths interested in participating. This is where the real mechanisms can then take an effect to help reduce crime or their future offending. These mechanisms can be things such as social learning, which reinforces positive social norms, as well as access to mentoring, which can help the youth be guided through at-risk times, at which their risk of offending is much higher. These mechanisms can be thought of theoretically in Sampson and Lorb's theory of age-graded social control focused more on not constraint but how social capital or the investment of the subject within the world around them was boosted by inclusion and participation in the community. This social capital was used to explain how what they labelled as cumulative continuity accounted for crime. This cumulative continuity suggests that by reducing the amount of opportunities a person has, this in turn reduces the amount of opportunity an offender might have to change, locking them into a particular lifestyle. By using this theory in terms of the research, mentoring and social inclusion in community sports would allow a youth or a youth offender to gain more social investment. In addition to these effects, mental health and health has also been seen to be positively linked with community sports. This is a very strong basis as to why the Australian ABC campaign, Act, Belong, Commit, use community sports as a primary recommendation of improving one's life. So if the research doesn't suggest one way or the other about sporting as a preventative measure, why mention it at all? Well this is where science really comes into its own. By weighing the competing theories we're able to finely tune each but also build a more comprehensive theory of crime itself. As well as how to prevent it of course. But not only that, it allows us to build programs in the future which focus more on the effective mechanisms such as the mentoring. By utilising this method, we're actually able to build really community focused effective measures for both rehabilitating offenders but also preventing crime in general. While this video sought to provide a cursory glance at this subject, there is still far more research to be done. However, in the future, as more research comes to light, hopefully I'll have the opportunity to address it in future videos. Well, thank you for watching today, and I hope you guys uh, have something a little extra to think about. One of the great things that I love about criminology and its research and application is the fact there is immense possibility for how you could apply it and how you could benefit the community. It's one of those areas which has limitless 
possibilities. Rather than going on a long monologue about how much I love criminology, I'll leave it there. But if you guys would like to see more videos, please like and share my video and subscribe if you would like to get notifications about them. If you've got any subjects you would like me to talk about in the future, please leave a comment and I'll hopefully address them. Thanks for watching, have a good day.